Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five, but I think the wing backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Lewis Dunk plays alongside Shane Duffy in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Thank you, Villa Park. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. And beating the defender. Lalana. Neil Mopé. He's got to score! Able to get his body in the way. Who can he pick out? Well, the danger is still there. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Lalana. Well, they have the ball once more. Can he convert? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, they might be piling on the pressure. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? He's going forward well here. But nothing comes of it. Ings. Oh, good vision. High quality defending. Trossard. And Feldman with it here. Mopé. Lalana. 
Neil Mopé. Well, there to intercept. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, it fizzled out. Mopé. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can't miss, surely! Capable of so much better from that position. Trossard. Oh, really close, just over the top. Well, as you can see, Villa are seeing much less of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good... Oh, opportunity good... here, Stuart. Oh, good save. So the corner played into the box, making sure nothing came of it. Prepared to take on the shot. Terrific block. Beautifully weighted ball. In it goes! Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So 2-0 now. Trossard. A chance to whip it in. Not the best clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Rose. And block for now. Ball is loose. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Trossard. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere and he's taken his goals really well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Number 17, Stephen Alzette. Ings. Oh, good looking run. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Ings. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Being pressed hard. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, possibilities inside the box. Ings. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Trossard, Neil Mopé, Cucurella, Mopé, it's there for him, 
That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Over it comes. Can they stop it going in? Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. Just too much on that pass. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Trossard. And blocked for now. Maximum commitment, and he's given away the corner. And with play stop, they will make the change now. And there's the delivery. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Alsace. On to Trossard. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. And a substitution in the offing. Ings. And a strong tackle. Mopé. McAllister. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Joel Feldman. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Fifteen minutes left for play. And it might be... Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Trossard, and very deftly cut out. Ten minutes to go then. And a good-looking ball. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Matt Target. again he made it look simple really well on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today Stuart interested to get your take well the result has never really been in doubt has it they've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play I think they've looked at it well just narrowly over the crossbar good hit though time for a change then as far as stoppage time is concerned three minutes here Cucurella McAllister and fine goalkeeping and there it is the final whistle and the big story here Aston Villa get the victory what did you think of it? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.